Have you ever felt like there's more to life than what meets the eye, a hidden depth waiting to be discovered? This unspoken question often lingers in the back of our minds, a subtle but persistent whisper. It's this very whisper that heralds the beginning of a profound journey, the journey of spiritual awakening. This journey, though deeply personal, shares common threads that weave through the lives of many. Today, we will be going over the five stages of spiritual awakening so that you will be able to know and recognize which stage you are currently in and which stage you might be heading into. As we embark on the exploration of the first stage of spiritual awakening, let's unravel these mystical threads together. Imagine a life where every day feels the same, predictable yet unfulfilling. You wake up, go through your routines, and lay down at night with a sense of emptiness. It's like watching a movie where you know all the scenes by heart, yet you keep watching, hoping for a different ending. This is where our journey begins, in the heart of the mundane, the ordinary life that suddenly feels too small for your spirit. Then, one day, something shifts. It might be a gentle nudge, a subtle feeling, or a profound realization. This shift is the first stage of your spiritual awakening. It's as if the universe has softly tapped on your shoulder, whispering, there's more to life than this. You start questioning things you've always accepted, looking at the world with new eyes. It's like waking up from a long slumber and seeing the dawn for the first time. In this stage, you might feel a mixture of excitement and confusion, your heart beats a little faster when you think about the possibilities, the unexplored paths your life could take. But there's also fear, the fear of stepping into the unknown. Questions swirl in your mind. What does it mean to be spiritually awake? How will this change my life? These questions are the seeds of transformation and they need time to grow. As you navigate this stage, you'll find that your old ways of thinking and being don't satisfy you anymore. It's like outgrowing a pair of shoes that once fit perfectly. You might start seeking new experiences, books or conversations that feed your growing curiosity. This is the universe's way of guiding you, showing you the breadcrumbs on the path of your spiritual journey. Remember, this stage is just the beginning. It's a time of discovery, of opening your heart and mind to new possibilities. It's not about finding all the answers right away, but about learning to live with the questions. Each question, each moment of uncertainty, is a step forward on your path. Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American essayist and philosopher in the 19th century, is known for his transcendentalist philosophy. Transcendentalism is a philosophical movement that emphasizes the importance of individual intuition, spirituality, and the connection between humans and nature. Emerson's ideas resonate with the first stage of spiritual awakening, where individuals begin to question the conventional and seek deeper meaning in life. Emerson believed in the inherent goodness of human beings and their capacity for spiritual insight. He encouraged individuals to trust their inner wisdom and explore their unique spiritual paths. This aligns with the moment when someone experiences the initial shift in their perspective, as described in the first stage of spiritual awakening. Emerson often wrote about the importance of self-reliance, urging people to rely on their inner guidance rather than conforming to societal norms and expectations. During the early stages of spiritual awakening, Individuals may start to feel the need to break free from the monotony of their ordinary lives and explore their inner selves. Emerson's philosophy of self-reliance can serve as a guiding light in this process, encouraging individuals to trust their inner instincts and embark on a journey of self-discovery. In addition to self-reliance, Emerson emphasized the significance of nature in one's spiritual journey. He believed that nature could be a source of inspiration and a reflection of the divine. When someone begins to question the mundanity of their life and seeks a deeper understanding of existence, they may find solace and inspiration in the natural world. This connection with nature can be a pivotal aspect of the early stages of spiritual awakening as individuals start to see the world with new eyes, just as Emerson did. As we journey deeper into the realm of spiritual awakening, we arrive at the second stage, 
where the seed of curiosity planted in the fertile soil of our souls begins to sprout. This stage is characterized by exploration and an insatiable thirst for understanding. It's a period where the horizon of our spiritual landscape broadens and we start to comprehend the vastness of the journey ahead. In this stage, your heart becomes a compass, guiding you towards experiences and knowledge that resonate with your awakening spirit. It's as if a light has been turned on in a room that was dark for too long. Suddenly, everything seems interconnected. The people you meet, the books that fall into your hands, the seemingly random events that start to feel like signposts on your path. You're no longer wandering aimlessly, you're on a quest for deeper understanding. Your curiosity might lead you down various paths, meditation, yoga, spiritual literature, or perhaps conversations with those who seem to radiate an inner peace you long for. Every experience, every piece of wisdom you encounter feels like a puzzle piece in the grand design of your spiritual self. You start to see patterns, connections that were invisible to you before. It's exhilarating this feeling of piecing together the mysteries of your own existence. However, this stage is not without its challenges. As your awareness expands, so does your sensitivity to the world around you. You might find yourself overwhelmed at times by the intensity of your emotions or the depth of your thoughts. It's as though your spiritual senses have been heightened and you're learning how to navigate this new terrain. Remember, it's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's a natural part of the process, a sign that you're moving beyond the surface of life and diving into its depths. During this stage, you may also start to notice a gap between your inner transformations and your outer life. The job you once tolerated now feels stifling, relationships may seem superficial, and social norms you once conformed to might now feel constraining. This discord is a sign of growth, a signal that you're outgrowing the old molds and patterns of your life. It's an invitation to align your external world with your evolving inner self. As we continue on our journey of spiritual awakening, let's explore the role of Christianity in this quest for understanding and inner peace. Christianity is one of the world's major religions and it holds a significant place in the hearts of many individuals seeking spiritual growth and connection. One of the central aspects of Christianity is faith. Believers are encouraged to have faith in God and in the teachings of Jesus. This faith can provide a sense of purpose and comfort, knowing that there is a higher power guiding and supporting them on their spiritual journey. Prayer is another fundamental practice in Christianity. It's a way for individuals to communicate with God, seek guidance, and find solace in times of need. Prayer can be a profound experience, allowing people to connect with their inner selves and open their hearts to the divine. The Bible, the holy scripture of Christianity, is a rich source of wisdom and guidance. It contains stories, parables, and teachings that offer profound insights into life, morality, and spirituality. Reading and reflecting on the Bible's verses can be a transformative experience, leading to a deeper understanding of one's purpose and the nature of existence. Embarking on the third stage of spiritual awakening, we enter a profound phase of deepening and integration. This is where the insights and experiences from our explorations begin to take root in our lives, weaving their way into the very fabric of our being. It's a transformative process, marked by a sense of coming home to a deeper truth within ourselves. In this stage, the excitement of discovery starts to mellow into a quieter, more sustained engagement with your spiritual practice. Whether it's meditation, prayer, yoga, or any other form of spiritual discipline, these practices become less about exploration and more about deepening your connection with the divine, the universe, or your inner self. You begin to realize that spirituality isn't just a part of your life. It is your life, infused into every moment, every breath. This deepening brings about a profound sense of peace and centeredness. It's as if you've been traveling a turbulent sea and have now reached a calm harbor. Your sense of self starts to shift. You no longer identify solely with your ego or the roles you play in life. 
Instead, you start to experience a more expansive sense of self, connected to something greater. This new sense of identity is less about who you are in the world and more about who you are in the cosmos. Integration is a key aspect of this stage. The spiritual truths and insights you've gained are not just concepts to understand, they become realities to live by. This might mean making significant changes in your life, in your relationships, your career, or your daily habits. These changes are a natural and necessary part of aligning your outer life with your inner transformation. It's about bringing your true self to the forefront, living authentically and wholeheartedly. However, integration is not always smooth or easy. It often requires letting go of old patterns, beliefs, and even relationships that no longer serve your highest good. This process of letting go can be painful, but it's also liberating. It clears the space for new growth, for a life that is more aligned with your spiritual path. Nietzsche, who lived in the 19th century, had profound insights about the human experience that can be applied to your evolving spiritual practice without the use of difficult words or complex ideas. Nietzsche once said, he who has a why to live for can bear almost anyhow. This simple statement reminds us that having a purpose or a deeper meaning in life can give us strength and resilience, just as your spiritual practice provides you with a sense of purpose and connection to something greater. It's about finding your why in your spiritual journey and letting it guide you through the ups and downs of life. As you deepen your connection with the divine, the universe or your inner self, you may also resonate with Nietzsche's idea of the will to power. In simpler terms, this concept suggests that we all have an inner drive to grow, transform and become the best version of ourselves. Your spiritual practice is a way to tap into this inner power, to nurture it and to align it with your authentic self. Nietzsche's philosophy can help you understand the shift in your sense of self that occurs in this stage of your journey. He talked about the idea of becoming who you are, this means that your true self is not fixed or predetermined. It's something you create and uncover through your experiences and choices. Your spiritual practice is a tool that helps you in this process of self-discovery and becoming. The integration aspect of your spiritual journey can be related to Nietzsche's thoughts on eternal recurrence. While this concept may sound complex, it's essentially a thought experiment that asks you to imagine living your life over and over again with all its joys and sorrows. It encourages you to make choices and live in a way that you would be willing to relive, embracing the lessons and growth that come from every experience. Integration means living in alignment with your spiritual values so that you can say yes to the idea of eternal recurrence. As we venture into the fourth stage of spiritual awakening, we embrace a phase of expansion and service. This stage is marked by a shift from inward focus to outward expression, where the deep personal transformations we have undergone begin to extend their influence into the world around us. It's a phase where our awakening becomes not just a personal journey, but a path of contribution and service to others. In this stage, the insights and inner changes you have experienced start to manifest in the way you interact with the world. You begin to see yourself as part of a larger whole, interconnected with all life. This realization fosters a deep sense of compassion and empathy for others. Your actions, thoughts and words become infused with a desire to contribute positively to the world around you. The concept of service in this stage is not limited to traditional notions of volunteering or charity. It's a broader, more inclusive approach to living a life that reflects your spiritual values. This could mean offering kindness and understanding in your daily interactions, pursuing a career that aligns with your desire to help others, or even creating art that inspires and uplifts. The essence of service here is about making a difference big or small, in the lives of others and the world. This expansion of self often leads to a feeling of being more deeply connected with the universe. You might find synchronicities occurring more frequently, guiding you towards paths and opportunities to serve. These are not mere coincidences, 
but the universe's way of aligning your inner growth with external opportunities to make a difference. However, this stage also brings its own challenges. The more you open your heart to the world, the more you may feel the pain and suffering that exists around you. This can be overwhelming at times, but it's important to remember that your journey of awakening equips you with the strength to face these challenges. Your spiritual practices become a source of resilience, allowing you to maintain your balance and clarity of purpose in the face of adversity. Think about the process of learning a new skill, like playing a musical instrument. At first, your focus is inward as you learn the basics and practice diligently. This is similar to the early stages of spiritual awakening, where the journey is mostly about self-discovery and personal growth. But as you become more proficient with the instrument, your focus shifts. You start playing for others, maybe in a band or at community events. This shift is akin to the fourth stage of spiritual awakening, where your growth extends beyond yourself and starts to impact those around you. In both cases, whether it's spiritual awakening or learning a musical instrument, there's a transition from self-focus to a broader impact. Your actions, playing music or living spiritually, start to touch the lives of others. You're no longer just improving yourself, you're enhancing the world around you. Another comparison can be drawn with the educational journey. Initially, students focus on acquiring knowledge and understanding concepts. This is a personal journey, much like the early stages of spiritual awakening. But as students progress, they often start to use their knowledge to help others perhaps by tutoring peers or applying their skills in community projects. This mirrors the shift in spiritual awakening where the inner growth and understanding you've gained are used to benefit others. However, both journeys, whether in education or spiritual awakening, come with challenges. In education, advanced studies can be demanding and sometimes overwhelming, requiring resilience and determination. Similarly, in the fourth stage of spiritual awakening, as you open yourself to the world's pain and suffering, you may feel overwhelmed. But just as academic struggles strengthen a student's knowledge and resolve, the challenges faced in spiritual awakening fortify your inner strength and commitment to your path. As you continue to grow in this stage, your life becomes a testament to the power of spiritual transformation. You become a living example of how personal awakening can lead to positive change in the world. This doesn't mean you have to be perfect or have all the answers. It simply means living your truth with integrity and compassion. As we arrive at the fifth and final stage of spiritual awakening, we enter a realm of unity and oneness. This stage represents the culmination of the journey where the boundaries that once separated us from the rest of existence begin to dissolve. In this profound state, the distinction between self and other fades away, revealing a deep intrinsic connection with all that is. This stage is characterized by a profound sense of unity with the universe. It's as if all the teachings, experiences and insights from the previous stages have converged into a single luminous truth. We are all one. This realization transcends intellectual understanding. It is a deep experiential knowing that permeates every aspect of your being. In this state of oneness, the ego which once dominated your perception and understanding of the world takes a back seat. You no longer see yourself as a separate entity fighting for survival in a competitive world. Instead, you recognize yourself as an integral part of a vast interconnected whole. This shift in perspective brings with it an unparalleled sense of peace and harmony. Worries, fears and desires that once seemed so important begin to fade away, replaced by a profound acceptance of what is. This stage of awakening is not about escaping the world or retreating into a state of detached enlightenment. On the contrary, it's about living fully but from a place of deeper awareness and connection, your actions become expressions of love and compassion, not just for a few close to you, but for all beings. You understand that helping others and caring for the planet is not an obligation, but a natural extension of your own being. The experience of unity and oneness can also bring a sense of profound joy and wonder. 
The world seems more vibrant, alive and miraculous. You may find beauty and divinity in the simplest things, a leaf dancing in the wind, the sound of a child's laughter, the stillness of the night sky. Life becomes a continuous dance of divine expression and you are an integral part of this dance. However, reaching and maintaining this stage of awakening can be challenging. The ego, with its desires and fears, doesn't disappear completely and can resurface from time to time. The key is to observe these moments with compassion and understanding, allowing them to be without judgment or resistance. As we conclude our exploration of the five stages of spiritual awakening, remember that this journey is not linear. You may find yourself moving back and forth between stages, uncovering deeper layers of truth as you grow and evolve. Each stage is valuable and necessary, contributing to the unfolding of your spiritual potential. The journey of spiritual awakening is a continuous process of learning, growing and expanding. It's a path that leads not only to personal transformation, but to the transformation of the world around us. As you walk this path, know that you are part of a grand cosmic dance, a dance of awakening that is as ancient as the stars and as new as each breath you take. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.